Hey guys, Ruben Darach here. Welcome back to another episode of In-House where we bring you around Singapore touring interesting homes that have just been put up on the property market. Today we are in Everton Road in District 2 and we're going to be checking out a heritage Peranakan shop house with roots all the way back to the 1900s. Recently named as the coolest street of 2022 by Time Out Magazine, you'll find a mix of both Peranakan and Art Deco shop houses in this area. And the home we're going to be looking at today has had over $2 million worth of renovation done to it over the past two decades by its current owner. So specs on this house today, we've got five bedrooms, four baths, spread across six multi-layered floors, and the total size, 4,286 square feet, with the asking price starting from $6.6 .6 million. Now, if you guys are ready, let's get the show on the road. Here we are, now this home is known as the Lion's Gate House and immediately you notice that bright red facade which really stands out from all the other shop houses in this street, giving you that very strong oriental welcome. Now it is here that you begin to notice a little attention to details such as the brass knockers or even this vintage mailbox right here which really helps to complement the bright red exterior of this shop house. This space on which I'm standing on is also known as a five foot walkway which really parameters most of the shop houses in Singapore. And with that, let's head on into the house. All right, so coming into this house, you immediately notice that switch from something that's more rigid and oriental on the outside to something that's more homely and cozy on the inside. Now in total, we have $2.3 million worth of renovations done to this place. And I'll show that to you as we get through the tour later on. So this is the first floor of the house. We've got the living area in the front, the kitchen at the back, and right there, stairs leading up to the bedrooms and down to the basement. Now you'll notice that you've got tiled flooring throughout this space, and you've got a six-seater L-shaped sofa right here, a coffee table with enough space on the side for furnishings like your armchairs and consoles. Now, if I bring your attention to the ceiling, you will notice the original timber rafters, which have been painted in white. But that's not all because we also have a projector system and a retractable screen that comes with a 7.1 surround system. Heading deeper into the house, we find ourselves at the kitchen area. Now we've got both the dry and the wet kitchen. Allow me to start with the dry kitchen. So right here, we've got a kitchen island finished with a granite countertop. Now on either end, we have space for five bar stools and right behind, we have some storage area. Now this place is going to come in handy if you host often or even just as a standing workspace. And one other thing I would like to point out is this airwell right here. So the ceiling opens all the way up, essentially opening up the space, but also allowing natural light like to come in while allowing the hot air to escape. Heading into the wet kitchen, we immediately notice how spacious it is. Now, easily you could fit about three to four people right here. It's finished in a galley layout and we've got marble countertops on either end. So we've got storage space both below and above the counters. And this is a proper chef kitchen. Here's what I mean. We've got a six burner gas hob right here with a hood and an oven by Smag. We've got a wine fridge and we've got the faucet from Perfoni. But what I want to draw your attention to is the insincorator right here. So all I have to do is is press this button and essentially all the clutter here gets drilled up and brought to trash disposal. Now right here we've also got a dishwasher and on the far end French door fridge, built-in microwave oven and plenty of storage space. So here we are at the stairs. Now this flight leads you up to the bedrooms but allow me to bring you down to the basement first. Now, this is only one of two shop houses in the entire Everton area that actually comes with a basement. And coming in, you'll notice that this is currently used as a dining area as well as a transition subsequently to the utility yard and the back door. Here we've got both the floor and the wall finished in marble. And even though this is the basement, you might notice quite a bit of natural light coming in. That's because of the skylight right here. Now we also have two waterfalls here. So one on that stone slate feature wall as well as one underneath the staircase. 
And right here underneath the dining table, we actually have this entire timber decking which can be removed to facilitate for either a wading pool or a pond. Now on the opposite end, we have a hideaway sink, storage space as well as two AC units. And on this end, we have the utility yard which then leads to your back door. And one final thing to add as well is that we have the gas bath right here and inside of which you'll find a volcanic basin all the way from Bali as well as your heritage Puranakan window frames. Let's head up to the bedrooms. Coming up the stairs, I can really appreciate how we've got temp glass right here which covers the entire height of the timber stairs. Now not only does it serve as a precaution for falling objects, it also helps to allow natural light to flood this entire stairwell. One other thing as well is the lack of rises between the steps helps to open up the space making it seem a lot less claustrophobic. But first things first, we've got this door frame right here and no, it's not actually wooden, it's UPVC, a type of composite that's incredibly durable. Now this thing right here was installed almost 20 years ago and till today barely shows any signs of wear and tear. Now it's also incredibly soundproof and if I bring your attention to the outside space, that was the skylight that we saw earlier on. Now that space is often used as an alfresco area and in the far end, you've also got a retractable awning which helps to mitigate both your privacy and light into this space. Now heading into the first bedroom, we immediately notice how spacious it is. Enough to fit a king-size bed, plenty of bedside furnishings, a loose wardrobe as well as a study table. Now notice that all the furniture here are loose fitting, so you can easily customize this to your needs. In fact, you also have a sort of extended balcony on this end, so if you like to convert this place into an entertainment room with both an indoor and outdoor space, you could also do so as well. One thing you might notice is that there's plenty of natural light coming into this space, so blackout curtains are a must and they come with the home. A couple of technological implementations to highlight. The first thing is that you have universal power points throughout this house, so you don't really have to worry about leaving your adapters around the home anymore. Second thing is that you also have dimmable lighting in the bedrooms. And the final point is that you have a modem in every single room to ensure continued Wi-Fi connectivity. And through this door right here is your ensuite bath, which is finished in the same layout as the guest bath we saw earlier on. Now that being said, let's head on into the master bedroom. Heading into the master bedroom, we notice it immediately opens up into this walk-in wardrobe, which we'll check out in just a bit. But first, I want to show you this main area. So you notice how spacious this place is. Enough space for a console, king-size bed, sofa, study area and even a TV console. Now you could probably furnish more things in here, but the thing that I want to point out to you is really the functional implementations of this space. So right underneath me are rock wall installations, which actually help to keep both noise in and out of this room. Now the other thing as well is it helps to keep cool air in, preventing it from seeping through the timber flooring. The front facing windows of this bedroom are actually double glazed, essentially keeping noise out and making this entire bedroom completely soundproof. And one final thing I would like to point out to you is that this full height timber windows actually open up to the air well we saw earlier, also allowing for cross ventilation in this bedroom. Heading into the walk in wardrobe, we have six panels of closet space as well as inbuilt cabinetry with an open shelving space in the middle for you to store your beauty accessories. Now let's head into the master bath. The first thing you notice when coming into this space is really the amount of natural light you have in here. And again, that's thanks to that skylight in the roof right there. Now flooring wise, it's made of granite. We've got a marble vanity top together with a his and her sink, cabinetry on either side as well as below the vanity. And over on this end, we have a dedicated space for your shower area. Also note that it comes with a rain shower as does all the baths in this house. The final thing is that we also have a dedicated space right here for your toilet and with that let's head on to the next bedroom. This is finished in the exact same layout as we saw in the first bedroom earlier on. So notice we've got tout flooring throughout in keeping with the heritage charm which comes with living in a shop house. On the far end we also have the ensuite bath of this bedroom. Here is where things begin to change up just a little bit. You notice that this is a dedicated study area. And one thing I really appreciate is how the tiles changes. So it essentially demarcates both the sleeping space and the study area. So coming deeper in, you notice that you've got windows on either side. So this really helps to bring in more natural light into the space while opening up the area. Now, one thing I often feel is that in most studies, you get very claustrophobic. So this definitely helps with that. So now that we're officially done with the main bedrooms, let's head up to the attic. 
Now the attic is split into three different spaces and right through that door is the helper's room slash storage area. Now one thing to note is there isn't actually a buff on this level so whoever is using this space would have to use either the buff on the third bedroom or in that gas buff in the basement below. Now moving on, we notice this is the transitory space and this could be used either as a games lounge or potentially a reading nook. Before we head into bedroom 5, I would just like to point out the motorized windows up there. Now that essentially helps to expel the hot air, allowing for this space to seem a lot cooler in the day. So heading into the fifth and final bedroom, we've got the same UPVC material right here, which essentially means that this room is completely soundproof. Now it's currently being used as a study area but I could see this space being converted into either a meeting room or potentially even a music room. We've got storage spaces on either end and one thing I really like is the slanted roof here which adds a lot of character to this attic floor of the shop house. Now overall, at 4,286 square feet of interior space spread across six multi-levels, you certainly have a lot of area to play with. Now that we've finished the entire house, allow me to share a little bit more about the amenities with you as well as the redevelopment plans for this area. Now Everton Road itself is filled with a number of eateries, from affordable local fare to more posh dining experiences. It's also here that you'll find a number of retail shops in this space. For other shopping and eateries in the area, you'll find Bukit Paso, Kyong Sap, New Road and Duxton Hill, which are filled with more show house establishments, all less than a 10 minute walk away. As for more retail therapy, there's 100am Mall, Icon Village and the Guaco Tower, all a 15 minute walk away. As for recreation options, you have Spottiswood Park which is located a 3 minute walk away as well as New Road, Duxton Plain and Trussling Park all located less than 15 minutes walk away from this home. With regards to public transport, Utram Park MRT is a 7 minute walk away and as for those who drive, the AYE and CTE are right around the corner with subsequent linkage to the MCE and KPE through Keppel Viaduct. Finally, for parents with little ones, the only primary school within 1km is Cantonman Primary School. Regarding the revamp of this area, Tanjung Paga is considered to be the gateway to the future southern waterfront which will inject over 9,000 new homes into this space. Now the idea is to create a live-in population in the CBD with a number of mixed-use developments that will supplement live, play and work and to ensure that people can live closer to their workplaces. Recreational points will also be constructed in the Marina South, East and Straits Views area so as to capitalise on key water bodies and greeneries in this space. And so that officially wraps up the tour for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Now before we leave, we'd just like to thank the listing agent NG as well as the homeowner for allowing us to tour this beautiful house today. As always, if you'd like to find out more information to this property, you can check that out in the description box below. And with that, do consider liking, subscribing, turning on that notification bell, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.